Pandemic is an awful goddamn game. This game is garbage. I'm not even gonna try so... I'm not even gonna hold back. Pandemic is completely awful. So, on the surface, Pandemic is supposed to be this co-op game where you work together with your friends to sort of save the world from the horrible virus. In reality, it's a game... It's a solitary game. One person saves the world from a horrible virus. Pandemic One is, person among your friends who is best at Pandemic. Pandemic is bad at being a cooperative game. The because, thing that it's trying to be. Because the rules are set up such that it's a cooperative game, not game theory cooperative, which is an entirely different kind of game. But like, me and Scott, we're trying to beat the board together. Because of the way the game works, there's no real communication rules, or other games like Shadows Over Camelot, similar game, Battlefield same problem. Galactica, same problem. Same problem. Those games give these soft bullshit rules, like, you can't say the card you got in your hand, but you can kind of wink and nod and nudge, like, I'm feeling good, I'm feeling too good about this hand right now. Yeah, yeah, I'm feeling, yeah. I'm feeling pretty blue Oh, about I'm also, my hand. I'm also feeling blue and really sad, I'm too sad. Sad equals blue. I have two blue cards. <laughs> right? So, I mean, that's the one thing that's supposed to keep you from sort of just turning into a solitaire game is it's hidden information, but they don't actually prevent you from sharing it. And it ends up just being solitaire. The other way to do that is what the new XCOM game does. We played it at the last PAX, where there's a time limit. There's a computer saying, Space, space alert does the same Go, thing. go, go, Rim, you've got eight resources. Spend them now. Oh, too late. Fuck you. It's gone. Now the aliens are coming. What do you do? <laughs> like, yeah, you don't have time to talk with your friend and be like, yeah, three, three resource aliens killed you. Uh, uh, you know how XCOM works? I was the, like, CEO, whatever, so I'm doling out money, right? The money I pass around doesn't mean anything. Scott says, I need four money. I say, you get three. Deal with it. And then if I the, spend the four money, it's spent. He can spend it. And then at the end it. of the round, that money tokens that he's using, those are just helpful. They're not the real deal. They, you calculate at the end of the round how much money you spent, and if you went over budget. Oh, Scott spent more money than he said he did because he was in a hurry, didn't listen to Rim. Oh, yeah, you guys are fucked now. <laughs> the other game that solves this problem perfectly is Field of Sierra winning Hanabi, the greatest co op game to ever exist. Hanabi. It fireworks. means fireworks in Japanese. The way Hanabi works, if you haven't played it, is everyone gets a hand of cards. And you are simply trying to play the cards in order in the different colors. So like one red, one green, two red, one blue. And there's five colors, and you're just trying to count to five in each color. You really? hold your hand facing all the other players. You never see your own hand. You may not look at the own cards in your own hand, but you have to play them. And the game has very strict rules. On your turn, you either play a card, sight unseen, throw away a card, sight unseen, or spend a token to tell someone one of two things about their hand. Rim, you have three blue cards. Three blue cards. Mm. All right. All right, why would Scott have told me that? So, Scott, you have one red card. Oh, I do. That one. All right. All right. It's my turn again? Yep. I'm gonna play this red card that I haven't seen ever in my life and see, hope it's the next one we need to play. You see what happened there? Screwed. Why would I tell Scott about that fucking red card right then and there unless I had some reason for it? That game is a true cooperative game. You're all trying to read each other's minds and the rules are very explicit. You can say the number or the color of a set of cards someone has and that's it. Right. And it costs an action. And you can't conceal, right? So Rim had three blue cards. I can't be like, you have one blue card when he has three. Scott wants to play this one. He can't say you have one blue card. Because he has three. I have to say all three. I can't be like, yeah, that one. If he has three ones and I wanted to play one of them, I just got to be like, well, you have three ones. Hanabi and XCOM are the only good cooperative tabletop games I've ever seen. Space Alert's okay. Space Alert's pretty good. The problem with Space Alert is you need to be much smarter. Everyone needs to know how to program a computer. Fine. <laughs> Hanabi and XCOM are the only great co-op games I've ever seen. Okay, sure. We Pandemic can. literally just becomes one guy knows what's going on. And so if the person who's good like says, oh, do that, what are you going to do? Are you going to say, no, man, I'm doing something different. So I'm going to make lose. us lose. I'm going to do a worse move because I want to do my own turn. 